everyone, welcome to another episode on the First Impression series, a series where we're reviewing albums just after one listen. And today we're doing Welcome to Galvania by Puddle Mud. This is the band's fifth studio album released on September 13th, 2019. The album comes after several years of frontman Wes Scantland's multiple arrests and its intoxication and it is, and it is now a year sober. Now with all more reviews, let's talk about the cover art. This has no bare enjoyment of my opinion on the music, this is just for fun. The cover makes no sense. Why is it a compass on the map and how does it relate to the title? And what direction even is Galvania? 2 out of 10. Now we're getting to the music, and we're going to start off with You Don't Know. The opening riff is solid, and the vocals are shoddy at points, but most of the song is just post-grunge genericness. The second song is the lead single of the album, and it is Uh-Oh, and Uh-Oh is kind of right when talking about this song. Too many songs already use the same musical progression, but the mix does not really help this song. The chorus is just really weak and cheesy. It's like an 11-year-old who discovered the F-bomb for the first time. And the guitar solo is meh. Third song is Go to Hell. The intro is awful, though the drop is effective here. Then it goes bland. This sounds like a bad garage band. The solo is okay, I guess, but the solo is definitely the highlight of the track. Fourth song is Diseased Almost. And the chorus is weak here. The main riff is okay and the outro is just a case of WTF. Fifth song is My Kind of Crazy. This is a terrible ballad. It's just background noise. And even then, you're better off listening to nothing. The vocals are just mumbly and slurred. My kind of crazy. Then we get into the sixth song, Time of Our Lives. Yep, background noise. Hooray for retail rock! You know, the music that only serves to play in backgrounds of malls and retail stores and nothing else. Seventh song is Sunshine, and the main riff in the intro is just too quiet. It was not compressed very well, and just sounds hollow. And there is not much of a drop when the intro ends, and it's another terrible chorus. The open sounding guitar in the bridge sounds off, and the drop in the bridge is some weak sauce. Then we get Just Tell Me, extremely generic lyrics yet again. This is kind of song was still back in 2002. The mixing feels hollow and yet another weak chorus. Ninth song is Kiss It Goodbye, or Kiss It All Goodbye, excuse me. Oh, hey, the bass is here. The main guitar melody is okay and the instrumentation is generic. Our tenth song is Slide Away and Oh, hey, the open strumming sounds nice here, but there is more of those really slurred vocal mumblings from West Scantland, and then the chorus sits in the song and just goes all downhill from there. As he is trying to sound intense with his delivery in the chorus, but it just falls flat. And the transition back into the verse instrumentation is clunky at best, and it's bland. And the 11th song is Uh-Oh, but the Come Clean version. So, so lazy that we're reusing this same song on the same album. But the mix on this version somehow falls flatter than the original. Okay. So, in conclusion, this is one of the better albums from Puddle Mud, even though this is still god-awful. The mix is terrible. The lyrics have the maturity coming of a 10-year-old. Though this is weak retail rock, and the instrumentation is banned at blessed, and clunky at worst. Wes Scanlon's vocal performance is awful, either mumbling his way through the whole album, doing a poor Kurt Cobain impression, or just sounding really off whenever he tries to elevate his voice. This album proves that Puddle of Mud were, is not good, they were not good in the past, they are not good now, and will probably never be good. There are a few decent moments, but none of those are worth the price of admission for this thing. The melody and the choruses are super weak and forgettable, and the best chorus on the album is Uh-Oh, and that chorus is just laughably bad. You can, It's like a chorus that you would probably more than likely enjoy listening to drunk. Unironically, or ironically, excuse me. And with that all being said, I'm going to be giving Welcome to Galvania by Puddle of Mud an overall score of 1 out of 10, giving it a tier of wretched. And the only song I can say to check out on this thing is, I guess, parts of You Don't Know. But with that being said, what were your thoughts on Welcome to Galvania? Let me know in the comments down below. And I want to thank you for taking your time out to watch this video, and I hope you all have a great day.
day.